One day after the president of Ukraine fled the capital of Kiev, Moscow recalled its ambassador for consultations. U.S. National Security Advisor Susan Rice said it would be a grave mistake for Russia to use its military to intervene. On Face the Nation this morning, Senator John McCain said what's happening holds a lesson for Vladimir Putin. If I were Vladimir Putin today at the end of the Olympics, uh, I'd be a little nervous because the people of, Russian, uh, of Russia have watched this uh, transpire and they're tired of the crony capitalism and kleptocracy that that governs Russia today. I, if, I, if I were him... For the latest on the situation in Ukraine tonight, we turn to Holly Williams, who is in Kiev. And Holly, the big question here is, who is in charge this evening? Well, it's a good question, Jeff, and it is not entirely clear. Ukraine's parliament voted to sack President Yanukovych, and then today it elected a new acting president, Oleksandr Turchinov. So parliament would say that he's in charge. Many of the protesters out here on Independence Square would say that they're in charge. And then yesterday, Yanukovych himself, whose whereabouts we're not sure of, popped up on television and said that he is still the president. I think the reality is that with Ukraine's security forces now apparently in support of the protesters, Yanukovych will sooner or later have to acknowledge defeat. But I think the protesters will probably stay out on Independence Square until Ukraine holds fresh elections, which is scheduled for May. Right, and hard for the president to argue he's still in control when, when protesters have seized his actual house. That's been another big story here too. Well, it certainly doesn't help his case, Jeff. Um, the protesters took control of Yanukovych's residence just outside of Kiev yesterday. And when they opened it up to the public, there were some extraordinary scenes. It's a palatial home complete with its own private zoo and even a golf course. And this all adds to the anger that the protesters feel for Viktor Yanukovych. These demonstrations were always uh, all about him. And the people here on Independence Square accuse him not just of becoming increasingly dictatorial, but of being massively corrupt. Holly Williams, thank you so much once again.